Hello and welcome to the World of Wigan premiere. Uh, this is the first time that World of Wigan has yeah. had a premiere. Yeah. The first time it's been shown live anywhere. Um, and I'm sure you're all really looking forward to it and can't wait to get on with watching it. So without further ado, we will be uh, talking for a few more minutes about the episode. Um, I just want to say thanks to Moeen for letting us um, watch it here and for supplying us with Curry. Um, and I'm going to bring up Matthew Kelleher, who's one of the writers <laughs> of World of Wigan um, and an actor. So I'd like you to all raise your glasses and applaud uh, Matthew Kelleher. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's really cool to see so many people have turned out for the very first premiere of World of Wigan and hopefully the first event. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just a series of sketches that uh, me and a few of the guys have uh, been involved in, bit of, do a bit of writing and um, have, have put those together. And um, we're very pleased to say this marks another important milestone in the uh, World of Wigan history as well, as we have uh, recently passed uh, 100 likes on Facebook, and it is thanks to your unwavering support that uh, uh, we have made that. And um, we are hoping in the very near future to, um, to smash the 150 mark, isn't that right, Jamie? That's right. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I don't want to say much more about it. I want to, um, to allow you to get to the show as soon as possible. So, uh, just uh, yo, thank you very much for showing, and I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, cheers, thanks, guys. Uh, I'd like to bring up to the stage who's, been, who's not actually in this episode, but he's a long time fan and a long time compatriot. Uh, his name is Tom. Tom, well done. Um, I want you all to enjoy yourself, uh, enjoy the curry, and just make sure you, you only watch this once because uh, it gets a little bit dry. <laughs> Now I'd like to invite up Martin Hudson, who's played a very key role in this episode. He's the editor um, and writer of most of the sketches. Um, I'll wait to... Tom, that was shit. It really was. Oh, it is horrible, isn't it, being stood here? Um, uh, I, 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 uh... Oh, shit. The limelight. Um, I've not actually got anything prepared. Uh, this isn't that much better than that. No. Uh, <laughs> Danny, help, help me out here. Um, we were just having a conversation before. I'm not in the episode, so... No, I, I just want to know what's your highest brief in snooker. My highest brief in snooker is 58. 58. So, uh, a few of these guys were seen before, 20s, 30s. 69. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was in 2004. Um, I was working at the time, I was working nights, and I was coming in to the clubs in the day. So I've got quite a bit of practice, and I need a few, a few 67, 68, 68, I don't know if it was a mental thing, but I couldn't make it onto the, onto the 70. And I know what you're thinking, because those days it, there were rally tables, and some say, okay, the rally tables, slow, co slow cloth, not productive for the beginner, but I'm, I'm an intermediate player. And of course the debate is, if you run into the pack, um, the slow cloth negates uh, high breaks. But I would say that it's uh, good for steady positional shots around the block. But, uh, the debate rumbles on, doesn't it? Uh, okay, anyway. Um, welcome to World of Wigan, the new show all about news in Wigan. Um, I'm Martin, as you know, um, one of the co presenters. And uh, I remember my first time, just a little story, from uh, when was it? it was the, uh, episode three that I came in. I think it was episode three. Episode three, you were a veteran then, of course. Not two. Was it two? No, okay. It one. And I remember standing in the studio, we can debate that after. I remember standing in the studio, I was very nervous. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> that's your second car, not really. <laughs> and, um, and I was very nervous. I remember, uh, Sorry. was it Tony Gills at the time? I think he was the production Tony manager. Gilles. He gave me uh, some very sound advice. Uh, was it the lighting? Uh, was, was Ollie? Ollie, was it who was the lighting technician then? Was it Bill? Um, Bill. Right. It was you, wasn't it? No, no, I, I, I was presenting the show. Me? Jamie? No, Bill, it was Bill, Wobber, Bill fucking Renshaw. Okay. <laughs> it, it was him, not Tony Gills, he went on to do Northwest commentary. Um, he gave me some sound advice. He said, uh, just imagine, he said, just imagine, 
Oh, well, uh, the people often ask me, is World of Wigan filmed in front of a live studio audience? The answer to that is yes. Uh, but we want to give the effect that there isn't a studio audience, and a very knowledgeable lot of the World of Wigan audience, very respectable. So when they come in, we tell them, turn off the phones, don't laugh, don't applaud, don't cough, and nothing. We want to give the impression that there isn't an audience in there. Anyway, Tony Gill, no, Bill Renshaw told me that uh, just imagine when the red light comes on that uh, all people's bums in the audience. The, the bones are clenching at the same time. And I remember this because I've actually took it ever since. And I mean, right now. Right, the, right okay. What was it that I don't want to hear any sort of excuses. <laughs> We can land. Right, here we go. Do a sound trip. That's the fault. That's late. <laughs> <laughs>